which countries pose the greatest challenges for Christians. In this episode, I reveal the 10 worst places for Christians to live, where practicing their faith can lead to dire consequences. These nations are known for their severe persecution and hardships as documented by human rights organizations. Although experiences may differ, the harsh realities faced by many Christians in these regions are strikingly clear. Clicking the subscribe button is a great motivation for the channel. Thank you very much. Number 10. North Korea In the shadowy realm of North Korea, Christians live as if under a perpetual dark cloud where the light of faith struggles to shine through. The government's ruthless enforcement of anti-religious laws turns any public display of Christianity into a dangerous gamble with dire stakes. North Korea is a land where the flame of faith is smothered under the weight of an authoritarian regime. The government's surveillance is omnipresent, casting a long shadow over every aspect of life. Christians must practice their faith in the utmost secrecy, with even the smallest misstep leading to catastrophic consequences. The state's hostility towards Christianity is not merely about control. It's an ideological crusade against any belief system that could undermine the regime's absolute authority. The United States Commission on International Religious Freedom, USCIRF, consistently places North Korea at the top of its list of the world's worst violators of religious freedom. Harrowing reports reveal that tens of thousands of Christians are detained in prison camps, enduring unspeakable horrors. These camps are places of unimaginable suffering, where inmates face forced labor, starvation, and torture simply because of their faith. For the Christian community, the struggle is a daily ordeal. Every prayer, every whispered hymn, Every clandestine meeting is a testament to their resilience. Despite the grave dangers, they cling to their beliefs, finding solace in the shadows. The regime's relentless persecution forces them into an underground existence where the act of worship is both a risk and a profound statement of faith. North Korea's brutal repression of Christians is a chilling reminder of the broader struggle for religious freedom. The government's actions serve as a stark illustration of the lengths to which some regimes will go to maintain ideological purity and absolute control. The courage of North Korean Christians, who endure such extreme adversity for their faith, is both heartbreaking and inspiring. Number 9. Afghanistan In the shadows of Afghanistan, where ancient mountains guard the secrets of millennia, Christians endure a harsh and unyielding existence. This land, scarred by endless conflict and strife, is a perilous place for those who hold Christian beliefs. The life of a Christian in Afghanistan is akin to walking a tightrope over a chasm, where every step must be carefully measured to avoid plunging into danger. Afghanistan's long history of disputes and ongoing instability creates a volatile environment where Christians are frequent targets of hostility. They face not only blatant discrimination, but also severe social exclusion, making everyday life a labyrinth of hidden threats. Extremist groups relentlessly hunt those who deviate from the predominant faith, leading to harrowing tales of kidnappings and violent retributions. For Afghan Christians, attending a clandestine worship service is fraught with peril. Each prayer a whisper of defiance in a land where conversion can be tantamount to a death sentence. The constant threat of exposure forces many to practice their religion in the shadows, where even family and friends may turn against them. Despite these overwhelming odds, the Christian community in Afghanistan clings to their faith with remarkable tenacity. Their courage is like a solitary candle flickering in the darkness, resilient yet vulnerable to the slightest gust. The societal pressure to conform to the dominant religion is immense, and those who diverge face dire consequences, including loss of property, liberty, and life. The plight of Afghan Christians is a stark reminder of the human cost of religious intolerance. It underscores the urgent need for international solidarity and support for these brave individuals who risk everything for their right to believe. Number 8. Somalia 
In Somalia, being a Christian feels like wandering in an unrelenting desert where faith is continuously tested by the scorching heat of persecution and discrimination. Christians face formidable social and cultural barriers that cover the majority of the nation. This environment is not just metaphorically hostile, but tangibly dangerous, as numerous reports highlight the extensive discrimination against Christians. The persistent conflicts and the lack of a stable government create a stormy sea in which practicing one's faith freely becomes nearly impossible. The societal fabric in Somalia is tightly woven with threads of suspicion and hostility towards Christians, rendering their existence perilous. The unstable governance only fuels the chaos, allowing persecution to flourish unchecked. For the Christian minority, daily life becomes a struggle to survive as they navigate a world where their beliefs make them vulnerable targets. Consider the story of Amina, a fictional representation of the countless real-life Christians in Somalia. Amina, who converted to Christianity in secrecy, faces daily threats from extremist groups and even her own neighbors. Her life is a constant dance of concealment, hiding her faith to avoid violent repercussions. Her story reflects the harsh reality of many who must keep their beliefs hidden to stay safe, highlighting the severe risks Christians face in Somalia. Ultimately, Somalia is a treacherous land for Christians, where social exclusion and political instability converge to create a hostile environment that suffocates religious freedom. The ongoing unrest only amplifies the plight of Christians, solidifying Somalia's place as one of the most challenging countries for them to live in. Number seven, Libya. Libya stands as a stark illustration of the dire circumstances faced by Christians in certain parts of the world. In this North African nation, Christians endure relentless targeting and discrimination, a harsh reality amidst a backdrop of prolonged conflict and political instability. The nation's security landscape is akin to a volatile sea, with regions experiencing varying degrees of unrest and turmoil. Within this chaos, Christians are often singled out by hostile groups, making them vulnerable targets in an already precarious environment. These targeted attacks are not isolated incidents, but part of a troubling pattern that has intensified over recent years. The incidents range from harassment and intimidation to outright violence, creating an atmosphere of constant fear and insecurity for the Christian community. Reports of these hostile acts have surged, painting a grim picture of the dangers Christians face daily. The relentless persecution they encounter is a testament to the severe religious intolerance that pervades the country. This hostile environment forces many to live in the shadows, their faith a hidden facet of their identity, practiced discreetly to avoid detection and potential harm. The situation is further compounded by the fractured political landscape, which provides little hope for stability or protection for minority communities. The lack of a unified government and the presence of various militant factions create a lawless environment where human rights violations go unchecked. Christians in Libya find themselves in an unyielding struggle, where the freedom to practice their faith comes at a high personal cost. Amidst the ruins of ancient cities and the echoes of a once prosperous past, the Christian community in Libya fights for its survival. The resilience of these communities, however, shines through as they continue to hold on to their faith amidst the adversities that surround them. Number six, Pakistan. Pakistan remains a perilous place for Christians, where they are ensnared in a web of social, economic, and legal hardships. The situation is further exacerbated by periodic violent assaults targeting this vulnerable community. Despite international condemnation, the Pakistani government has shown a glaring inability to safeguard its Christian citizens, turning a blind eye to the deep-seated issues fueling this persistent persecution. To bolster the understanding of this plight, it's crucial to recognize the broader context of religious intolerance in Pakistan. The country's blasphemy laws, notoriously harsh and often misused, serve as a tool for settling personal scores, leaving Christians particularly vulnerable. 
Reports from human rights organizations frequently highlight cases where Christians are falsely accused, leading to long-term imprisonment or even mob violence. Moreover, economic discrimination is rampant, with Christians often relegated to the lowest-paying jobs and facing barriers to upward mobility. This economic marginalization is a deliberate attempt to keep the community oppressed and dependent. Social ostracization further compounds their woes as they are frequently denied basic rights and services, creating an environment where survival itself becomes a daily struggle. For instance, a notable case involved a Christian woman, Azia Bibi, who spent nearly a decade on death row over a false blasphemy charge. Her eventual acquittal did little to ease the fear among Christians, as it underscored the precariousness of their existence in a country where religious fervor often overrides justice. In summary, the Christian community in Pakistan lives under a cloud of fear and uncertainty, with systemic discrimination and periodic violence being a stark reality. The government's failure to address these injustices only serves to deepen the community's plight, making Pakistan one of the most challenging places for Christians to live. Number 5. Eritrea. Eritrea is a nation where the dream of religious freedom turns into a nightmare for Christians. The country's strict control over religious activities transforms everyday believers into targets of persecution, painting a grim picture of life for Christians, particularly those of the evangelical faith. In Eritrea, the concept of religious freedom is more a myth than reality. The government's relentless pursuit to control and suppress religious practices has led to severe restrictions on worship. Christians are frequently subjected to arbitrary detentions, where they can be held indefinitely without charges or trials. This brutal approach is a clear indication of the state's objective to eliminate evangelical Christianity from its soil. The plight of Eritrean Christians is highlighted by the voice of the martyrs, an organization that sheds light on religious persecution worldwide. According to their reports, the Eritrean government's actions are part of a calculated effort to eradicate evangelical Christianity. Believers are often imprisoned under harsh conditions, deprived of basic human rights, and subjected to inhumane treatment simply for practicing their faith. It's a paradox that a country with a significant Christian population could exhibit such hostility towards its own citizens. Despite the deep Christian roots within Eritrea, the government's draconian policies create an environment where religious expression is met with severe punishment. This contradiction underscores the complexity and severity of the situation. The government's strategy appears to be one of fear and control. By detaining Christians without due process, they instill a sense of dread within the community, aiming to deter others from practicing their faith openly. In a world where religious expression should be a fundamental right, the situation in Eritrea is a sobering example of what happens when those rights are stripped away. Number 4. Singapore Singapore, with a staggering GDP of $525 billion and a population of 5.45 million, stands as one of the world's foremost hubs for business and trade. Known for its high net worth individuals, the nation has faced recent economic challenges due to the pandemic and a slowdown in the Chinese economy, a key trading partner for Singapore's manufacturing sector. Despite these hurdles, Singapore maintains a vibrant and diverse lifestyle within a modern, efficient urban environment. The city is renowned for its cleanliness, organization, and exceptional public transportation and infrastructure, which contribute to the high quality of life enjoyed by its residents. With an abundance of dining, shopping, and entertainment options, Singapore offers a dynamic living experience. Singapore's multiculturalism shines through its festivals, cuisines, and cultural events, creating a rich tapestry of traditions and experiences. This diversity is complemented by a robust education system that prioritizes academic excellence and lifelong learning. Consistently ranking high in global education assessments, Singapore offers a variety of educational pathways through public, private, and international schools. The government places significant emphasis on skills development and vocational training, ensuring that its workforce remains competitive in the global market. Safety is another hallmark of life in Singapore. 
The nation boasts one of the lowest crime rates in the world, with strict law enforcement contributing to this enviable record. Annually, only about 600 cases of serious crime are reported, underscoring the effectiveness of Singapore's legal and policing systems. This focus on safety and security means that over 90% of residents feel safe walking alone at night in their neighborhoods. The sense of well-being fostered by Singapore's orderly, cohesive society makes it an ideal destination for families and individuals seeking peace of mind and a high quality of life. In conclusion, Singapore's blend of economic prowess, educational excellence, cultural diversity, and unparalleled safety creates an environment where residents thrive. The city-state's commitment to maintaining these standards ensures that it remains a top destination for global talent and investment, further solidifying its position among the richest countries in the world in 2024. Number 3. Ireland Ireland boasts a GDP of $564.2 billion and a population of 5.03 million. After the 2008 financial crisis, Ireland took significant measures to revive its economy, particularly focusing on restructuring its banking sector. The government made difficult decisions, such as reducing public sector wages, which played a crucial role in economic recovery. Additionally, Ireland's attractive corporate tax rates have drawn major corporations like Apple, Google, and Microsoft. These multinational companies have significantly contributed to Ireland's economic growth, accounting for more than 50% of its economic value in recent years. Ireland offers a laid-back lifestyle centered around strong community ties and outdoor activities. Its stunning landscapes, historic cities, and vibrant pub culture enhance its charm. The friendly and welcoming nature of the Irish people adds to the country's unique appeal. Daily life in Ireland often includes family gatherings, traditional music, and outdoor pursuits such as hiking, fishing, and Gaelic sports. The Irish education system is highly regarded, with a strong emphasis on academic excellence and innovation. The country provides a range of public and private schooling options, as well as esteemed universities and research institutions. Irish students benefit from a comprehensive education that fosters critical thinking and creativity. Ireland is also known for its safety, with low crime rates, especially in rural areas and smaller towns. Although urban areas with more diverse populations may experience slightly higher crime levels, the overall environment remains peaceful and secure. The government prioritizes law enforcement and community policing to ensure public safety. Whether you are a resident or a visitor, you can explore Ireland's picturesque countryside and historical landmarks with peace of mind. In conclusion, Ireland stands out not only for its economic resilience and corporate-friendly policies, but also for its rich cultural heritage, educational excellence, and commitment to public safety. These attributes make Ireland a compelling destination for both living and visiting in 2024. Number 2. Macau CRR this special administrative region of China boasts a GDP of $54.68 billion and a population of $695,000. As the first and last European colony in Asia, Macau has a unique cultural heritage that blends Chinese and Portuguese influences. Despite the severe impact of the COVID-19 crisis, including stringent travel restrictions and lockdowns, Macau's economy is rebounding rapidly due to its distinctive capitalist framework, which sets it apart from mainland China. The primary drivers of its economy are the tourism and gaming industries, which play a pivotal role in its economic resilience and growth. Macau is renowned for its vibrant atmosphere, characterized by numerous casinos, entertainment venues, and cultural events. Both residents and visitors enjoy a rich mix of culinary delights, architectural styles, and traditions. The skyline of Macau is a striking blend of modern skyscrapers and historic buildings, reflecting the region's ability to merge the old with the new. The education system in Macau is highly esteemed, emphasizing academic excellence with several schools offering bilingual education in Chinese and Portuguese. The University of Macau, the region's leading institution for higher education, is notable for its research capabilities and international partnerships. 
As of 2019, Macau's adult literacy rate exceeds 95%, highlighting the strong emphasis on education. Macau also maintains a remarkably low crime rate, ensuring the safety and security of both residents and tourists. The region's law enforcement, including the Macau Public Security Police Force, is effective in crime prevention and swift in addressing minor offenses. Recent statistics indicate that Macau SAR has one of the lowest crime rates globally, with tourist areas, particularly the bustling casino districts, prioritizing enhanced security measures to provide a secure environment for visitors. This focus on safety further reinforces Macau's appeal as a thriving, dynamic region. In summary, Macau SAR's impressive economic recovery, driven by its robust tourism and gaming sectors, combined with its rich cultural heritage, excellent education system, and low crime rate, make it one of the richest and most fascinating places in the world to live in or visit. Number 1. India India, a nation once celebrated for its vibrant mosaic of cultures and religions, is now experiencing a disheartening rise in religious intolerance. This shift, driven by an aggressive surge in Hindu nationalism, has placed minority communities, particularly Christians, in the crosshairs of escalating hostility and violence. Despite constitutional safeguards and occasional governmental initiatives to address these issues, Christians in India find themselves increasingly marginalized and targeted. The landscape of India for Christians today is reminiscent of a fortress under siege, Churches and homes, sacred spaces for worship and community, have become frequent targets of vandalism and destruction. In many regions, Christians face severe restrictions on practicing their faith openly, and public expressions of Christianity can provoke threats or attacks. The situation is exacerbated by the lack of adequate response from local authorities, who often turn a blind eye to the atrocities or, worse, are complicit in the acts of violence. Beyond the statistics, personal stories reveal the human cost of this rising intolerance. For instance, in rural areas, Christian families live under constant fear, knowing that their homes could be attacked at any moment. In urban centers, Christians might face discrimination in the workplace or in educational institutions, subtly yet effectively pushing them to the fringes of society. This pervasive atmosphere of fear and insecurity mirrors a dark cloud overshadowing their everyday lives. In the face of such adversity, many Christians in India continue to show remarkable resilience. Community networks provide support and solace, with underground churches and secret gatherings becoming lifelines for faith practice. International organizations and human rights groups are increasingly raising their voices, calling for more robust actions to protect religious minorities in India. Clicking the subscribe button is a great motivation for the channel. Thank you very much.